So I went out and got a Dremel tool to work on this weird rubber doll. And I tried it out and it looks like it's gonna work. So I put this sander on there. I don't really know if I'm gonna stick with it or not. But let's see how this goes. It's definitely taking it off, but not really as quickly as I thought it would. Let's try on some of the paint and see how that looks. So it is coming off. It looks like everyone was right and it's going to be a very slow process. I have to do this outside because obviously it's making a lot of dust and as most of you know, I have a little guy and I don't want him to breathe it in. Obviously, I don't want to breathe it in either. So we'll see how it goes with the weather as far as how much I can get this done. Um, but for now, this is where we're at, sanding. Okay, as you can see, I have pretty much sanded the entire faceplate as much as I possibly can with the Dremel tool. I um, couldn't really get very well into some of the small spaces like around the nose, so I decided just to do the larger spaces um, and then as I carve, most likely most of that plastic will be removed anyway. So I've also started carving a little bit, so I thought um, I would show a little bit of that process. The Dremel tool worked pretty well, uh, however she is pretty rough, um, so I'm having to use a heavy duty sandpaper. I'm using this one, the grit is here, to get most of it off and to smooth out any of the marks made by the Dremel tool. Uh, it's working pretty good. I'm using that paper and then I'm using my normal 600 sandpaper to smooth that out. She's still pretty rough, um, so I'm going to keep working on, on that sanding and then carving as well. Um, since part one of this video, I've seen some more uh, people working on these dolls and giving different advice. So. I actually ordered a couple uh, dolls from online from China and I did get another one of these dolls. So I will be doing another one and I'm probably going to try a different technique. Either the acetone, which I have had mixed reviews about. Some people say it destroys the doll, some people say it works fine. Um, as you saw in the first video, it didn't really work. Uh, for me, at least the acetone I had. The other technique I've seen is using the scal a scalpel to remove the plastic. That sounds like something I might try instead. So, um, we'll continue working on this type of doll. I really don't like it very much, but they are um, pretty cute dolls. So, I'm just going to show you a little bit about the tools that I use for carving. I started out with um, just really simple tools that I had around the house and I have since then invested in a couple of things. I'm still using the same file that my stepdad gave me. Um, I use this one. I also bought another file at a hobby store which I really liked it was super fine but I actually snapped the end off on accident doing something else that I probably shouldn't have been doing with it um, for my blight dolls but so I'm not super impressed that it wasn't very strong but I did really like the file so I'll probably go back and get more however it was a six dollar file so not really worth it if they're gonna break and this one still works fine for pretty much everything that I do. So I, I might not go get another one. I'm not sure yet. But I do have a set of ninja carving knives. Um, these are wood carving knives, but they work great for blood. These are the four that I use. The set comes with 
many, many. There are, let's see, four, about 13 knives, but these are the four that I use. Two of them are kind of like scalpels, and the other two are for kind of digging. I don't really know the name of the tool, so I'm sorry about that. So, as far as um, what I'm doing with this doll, I use a pencil to make the mouth um, lines so that I can uh, kind of follow along. And my plan for this doll is to give her kind of a, a little open mouth. I don't think I'm going to do teeth, but I am going to open her mouth just a little bit, kind of in like an O shape. Now, normally when I make these videos, I leave my lamp off because it's very yellow, but I'm going to turn it on right now because I can't see very well without it. So, a couple of things with these tools. Uh, they work really well for doing uh, this part, and I've kind of learned that you want to go back this way, otherwise it's hard to... Um, and that part's smooth in there, so I do it this way. I'm just going to show you a little bit. It's a little hard to use while recording. But as you can see, the plastic is coming off um, the rubber face part. So as far as smoothing this out, I'm going to work on that a little bit later after I'm more done carving her. The other tool that I use um, is a Dremel tool. This again was not something I started out with and a lot of customizers will tell you not to use a Dremel and that's because you can make mistakes really quickly. But I bought the Dremel obviously for this doll and it works for taking off the plastic. But I'm also now using the Dremel to um, do the nose holes because it takes a really long time to do it by hand. It's definitely possible to just sand away and carve away with um, the little file, but it takes quite a long time. So I use this attachment on my Dremel and just make some holes and then clean them up. So I'm going to show you in the next video the progress and how well I've smoothed her out. Um, so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more on this uh, rubber face doll. Thank you.